What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and we are just fresh off the MSN hype. Is it still there? Well, the top 50 players in the game at the moment, they're all using these cards. You know, Messi, Suarez, Neymar. Will it stay as a long-term meta? Who knows? But we will see as it goes on. And obviously, this is another What's Coming Monday video. We still have our contract situation here. It's going to be all about the players, right? Now, what they've started to do is to release these on the Thursdays as well for special edition cards, especially the purple boosters such as Messi there, which are like the special boosters while still having the Showtime and the Player of the Week. And then obviously, the Epics are always on a Monday. So we know what Epics are going to be coming on the Monday. But before we get into that, I want to ask your opinion on um the new update that is going to be coming like what do you guys want to see do you want to see you know that people are still there's a lot of cheating going on at the moment i will do a video on that i talk about it in the live stream quite a bit and also with the 4.2 update that seems to be tied to the first week in december based on the match pass so usually the big updates are tied to the match pass which you can see there is the 5th of the 12th which is the 5th of december which is in two weeks time right also they have switched this up as well not only have they switched the campaigns, but they've also added due to, you know, you'd have to you'd have to think that it's potentially due, due to people asking for more stuff. They have this weekend league test, testing my limit ranking event. That's going to be over tomorrow, but that is a weekend only thing. And the team play fun online against, you know, uh, other users, 3v3 or whatever, 2v2, and also against the AI. That is now running for an extra week rather than just the one week cycle or the three day cycle right so on to the cards today we actually do know that we're, what we're going to be getting it is going to be beckham lampard and silva that is the next pack that we're going to have here and we can actually take a quick look beckham is going to have edge crossing blitz curler is going to be on frank lampard and gilberta silva uh shout out to buddy j for this as well over on twitter but yeah we actually have it loaded up here on the database right so this is going to be a very interesting day with beckham my biggest issue with beckham is that he feels clunky and the version that I have of him is just a little bit clunky, right? I, I feel as if he's, even though he's got the stats, as you can see here, he just feels a little bit clunky. I don't know what it is about him. I, maybe it is his balance, his tight possession, or maybe it is just because of his height. I, I don't know, but he feels a lot clunkier than he should, right? So I, I think that they're trying to probably rectify that by giving us a prime version of Beckham here in terms of his agility, right? So this is a 29-year-old Beckham that's already been out the English euros uh, version of beckham this new version of beckham is a 23 year old david beckham or 24 year old david beckham i should say so pretty much in his prime at united winning loads and you know largely regarded as one of the best dead ball specialists ever now this is just a quick 32 level build of him we will obviously be looking at him on monday in more detail will we spin let's see let's see i mean it's it's hard to know right but he definitely has good skills and you can see there that he's going to hit that lovely holy trinity of, of stats, right, for, for players that have tight possession and balance and, of course, that acceleration. So he has 85 tight possession, 90 balance, and 91 acceleration. Obviously, if you're throwing an extra boost or crafting onto him there, he'll get the 90 plus speed, as well as whatever other stat that you want. You could put agility on him and have 91 balance, 92 stamina. Kicking power is going to be over 90. His finishing is 85, his low pass. It's a very solid card. And, of course, he does have that edged crossing as well as track back. Oh, excuse me, as track back. And of course, long range drive, long range shooting, first time shot and one touch pass as well. So it is going to be a very, very nice card, lads, I think. But again, it's just going to be Beckham, man, a cross specialist. And crossing at the moment in the game, it's just in the mud a little bit, right? Now, next up, we have Frank Lampard, who I think could actually be the, the kind of the gem of this pack, right? I never really rated Lampard, but this looks to be a kind of a prime edition Lampard, 20 goals a season Lampard. He does look to have Blitz Curler. It's not in here at the moment, but that should be added. But he looks to have Blitz Curler in this card, which is going to be interesting, right? Because you've got 85 speed, 90 acceleration, 92 kick and power, 85 balance, 90 tight possession, 85 dribbling. Every single stat that you need of him, including 90 plus curl, 92 finishing without a booster, is going to be exactly where you want it to be at the threshold, right? He even has 70 plus aggression and 75 defensive engagement. Very, very solid. Lots of lovely skills as well. One touch pass, first time shot, long range shooting outside curl, low lofted pass and interception. So as a whole player, this card is going to be very, very interesting, I think. And that is without even giving the booster to him. So that is Frank Lampard there with 32 levels. Maybe he'll have more, maybe he'll have less. And then last but not least, we have Gilberto Silva. So the Arsenal anchorman, he is down as an anchorman here. Very nice skills as well. Area superiority, blocker interception, fighting spirit, one touch pass, heading man marking, all of the above. As you can see here, add a booster to him here and you're going to have 90 plus aggression, 85 speed. You're going to get his jump and physical contact up. It's going to be a pretty solid card. I mean, you can even go a little bit one more with this here and, you know, you can have his jump at 90 
with just a little bit more kind of into whatever you want to put there or even his acceleration and speed you could go that route as well if you wanted to pop one more into his dexterity there and then obviously pop a booster on or else you could take out one from his lower body and give him agility one from his lower body body one from his acceleration and you're still going to have with the agility plus one booster that you can craft for him you'll have 85 speed 80 acceleration and then of course you can have that 90 jump and still have a little bit of defense there and also you could add a little bit to his passing there if you wanted to or his dribbling he's got 85 tight possession which is very interesting uh there as well so it's going to be an interesting card but let me know what you guys think that is just a quick video as to what's coming monday don't forget to subscribe we'll be back streaming tomorrow and i hope you guys enjoyed the video peace